This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hello everyone and welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 Suite build. Today we are going to do the first build I did with the new gameplay pack called My Wedding Stories for The Sims 4 and I have to say upfront this was built with a press release, pre-release version so that is not the final, you know, pack version that everyone will get in about a week when it comes out. So what I wanted to do here is of course build a wedding venue. I mean how very creative of me. <laughs> but uh, yeah the wedding venue is a new lot type and I thought this um, could be interesting I guess architecture wise. I kind of like churches, monasteries, all that kind of buzz and even though I'm not super into religion and stuff, I'm the most atheist person I guess there is, but uh, yeah, for those who have any <laughs> concerns here, this is Saint Lionfish, okay? This is dedicated to the Lionfish Lord, uh, blessed be his fin, and um, there will not be a Lionfish there. I wanted to go super crazy, like full on white and cloth and lots of flowers. And then I thought, okay, since Tatonsa, the world that comes with my wedding stories is kind of this mixture of every Mediterranean world you can think of. I thought I'm going to do something Mediterranean I really wanted to do again. And that's a monastery. So a monastery, I already did one in 2018. Yes, time flies. And I actually enjoyed that one. It was just base game. And I thought, okay, so it's possible with base game. Why not do just base game and the new pack? So when you get the pack, you can, you know, put this plot down right away. Does this make sense? I think it does. So um, yeah, I had some restrictions here, but I think it's fairly possible to build a monastery church kind of thing uh, with just base game and the new wedding pack, especially if it's of course a wedding menu. So uh, as you can see, I did the church part first, the chapel part first, because I had to see how big the aisles have to be and stuff like that, because I'm not used to the huge objects and whatnot and when I once I have that down I basically copied a little bit of the Peterin church from Sims Medieval <laughs> um yeah I really like that one so I kind of um you know I copied a little bit of the layout there uh, but I made it better <laughs> so sorry for anyone who did this church but i mean that was sims 3 times okay <laughs> we are past sims 3 now but yeah i thought this would be a really cool idea especially because i always wanted to use that church bell tower thingy i really like that one and of course i had to go for that so this is the most detailed version i could come up with and i basically just slapped next to the church like another kind of church building and then i made these yards with a one tile long room and that actually has an you know the idea behind the one tile long room as like a fence so to speak is so i could use arch arches put them inside and then I have a little bit of like one tile deep kind of room and I can put something into the arches. So of course at first I thought hey actually there should be like statues of saints and stuff but we don't have that in base game only really ugly statues. So in the end I will use a lot of the flower arrangements that come with this pack and yo it will look really good. It will look super kitsch but I you know, it's, it's gonna be nice, I, I think. <laughs> but yeah, basically I did these yards and I wanted, then later I had like the idea while I was building this is maybe this is like an old monastery that got bought up by, I don't know, a wealthy family or something. Because Tatosa, wasn't it said in the trailer or something that it's like the idea behind the whole thing is that the whole town is like absolutely into the whole wedding industry like there's everything there for weddings and I thought maybe someone owns this who bought like an old monastery renovated it and also catered it you know to cater to the whole wedding industry so it has a lounge and it has like bathrooms and like stuff that maybe not an old monastery would have so I don't have to go super medieval and I could use electronics and whatnot so that is uh, 
the idea. By the way, you can also set this to a lounge. So you can set this to a wedding venue, generic as always, of course, and uh, a lounge as well. So it has all the requirements for these things. And once I basically had the layout down with the yards and everything, I started to decorate the hell out of it um, with base game mostly. And that's actually quite cool because we have the Spanish, you know, uh, I always want to say missionary, <laughs> is that what it's called? But yeah, the, this uh, Spanish colonial kind of style stuff because of Oasis Springs. Um, and I already posted like a little work in progress picture and someone said that was actually quite cool. I didn't even think about this. But uh, this fits into Oasis Springs very well, into Selva Dorada, which you get with Jungle Adventure. So, and you know, like maybe Windenburg, I don't know, but like every kind of more Spanish, Latin American world as well. So um, yeah, this is a very versatile uh, lot that you can put in many, many worlds and it will always fit into the whole style of it. So that's actually quite cool. I didn't even think of that. And I used a big ass fountain. <laughs> I said in my review again, you can only use this in like a town square or something huge. I mean, who has that in its normal yard, you know? But uh, yeah, a monastery maybe has it too. I kind of like that fountain because the sims can sit on the edges there. Um, and I just thought it's a nice, um, you know, instead of benches, having like that as an option is kind of cute, I guess. So uh, basically some of the windows, or most of the windows are from the new pack. The arches outside are all base game, for example. The hedges as well, the cypresses, I think these are supposed to be cypress trees. Yeah, these are all base game. I mean, most of the build stuff is base game, except of the church towers and the windows. And in the inside of the church part, chapel part, there will be the pointed arches that also come with the pack. But yeah, basically it was lots of base game. So it is definitely possible for those super new Sims 4 players, I guess, who only have base game. And uh, yeah, I kind of liked that uh, it is, you know, versatile and possible. Also kind of made the building a little bit easier because then I didn't have to look up the whole catalog because now if you have like all the packs oh, it takes a long time to find an object like the filter system is not the best in this game and just by the sheer amount of objects you have this is um, yeah you need better filters or something I don't know it takes ages but like that it, at least like two hours I could you know didn't have to do just searching all the time so yeah when I had the layout with all the um you know, pathways I wanted to have in the yard. Of course, they connect to every, you know, little house so you sims can get in and stuff. Um, I basically did the exterior landscaping, so to speak, and then I started to do the um, final spray paint, terrain paint sprays. I always don't know how to call it, but basically that. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is all base game. I'm, I'm still like, okay. So then I started to do decorating. So here we will have massive jumps because basically it's a lot of just repeating stuff all over again. So basically with wedding, with, with the wedding stories pack, I basically used either only white, the pure white things that come with this. So we have the cloth tables and the cloth uh, chairs and the cloth arrangements and whatnot and lots and lots of these flower arrangements that I already said I kind of like a lot because they look very pretty and the green of the leaves is not as super green as some stuff is <laughs> because in The Sims there is different uh, leaf colors I mean that's the case in real life as well but there's this one very comic oversaturated green that I really don't like in the game always makes makes everything look so plasticky. So yeah. So in this yard here, this is basically where you could have the whole wedding party and like rehearsal dinner and I don't know, uh, maybe it's also like a fancy restaurant. It's not a restaurant though. 
because I didn't have dine out or didn't use dine out. But you know, you get the thing. So you can have the whole thing except the wedding part, <laughs> getting married part, you can do there in this yard. So we have a dance floor, we have the tables, we have a bar, we have a piano, um, I think a microphone and some other instruments like violins and stuff. And the buffet table, the champagne for toasting, you know, all that stuff. Photo cameras, there will be lots of photo cameras so your sins can take photos. For example, at my wedding we had this uh, disposable cameras that you can only use one time. And those photos were actually the funniest in the end, like looking through those, <laughs> those were the best. Um, but yeah, basically I wanted to have this here. And then one of the houses on the side uh, is the bathroom. So we have toilets there and uh, some things and lots of flower arrange in, uh, arrangements and I don't know. Oh yeah, I did a fancy, fancy mirror there. So if you want to do a fancy mirror with just base game, um, you take the big wall uh, height mirrors, like the ones that are just as tall as the walls, um, and then you know you put them together so you have a big one, and then you put a frame over it, like a like a picture frame, and it has this nice frame for the look at this, it works. <sighs> and I do this quite a lot now. I do this here in the bathroom, then there will be one on the other side, you know, from you know the whole um, ceiling, so. You know, the ladies can look at herself and look at their dresses and stuff. You know, a nice hangout spot for the girls. <laughs> and um, I think I did this um, in the lounge part as well later. So yeah, um, because I had this whole yard here and you could basically do the whole thing. And even though this is base game, I kind of had to think about, hey, what happens if it's raining because people have seasons. So later on, I will also do the lounge part, which is basically the same, but just inside. So you can have your celebration, your wedding, everything also inside of the monastery. And then I went on to the yeah, chapel church part. Um, and yeah, basically, uh, again, lots of arches. So we have that church feel, I would say. Um, and the aisle, of course, it took the longest one because I just thought it's super pretty. And then I decorated the aisles. I mean, the benches are self-explanatory, I guess. I think these are a little bit too wide, of, like far from the thing. It's a little bit more realistically placed than maybe for Sims gameplay. Also, I don't think even that so many Sims, you know, come to weddings. I don't even know how many you can invite, but yeah, theoretically, you know, <laughs> you can have more. Maybe there, oh, there are mods, so you can have more Sims on one lot, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, basically um, my aisle and placeholder wedding arch are all working. I play tested it a little bit in this um, thing here. Um, I know that gameplay apparently in our press release version is not as, um, you know, functioning, as working as good, apparently. I've just seen some game player, game changers of us, um, you know, complain about it being bugged. And uh, yeah, I, d I just did like a quick play test. I don't know if it's, but it's everything is reachable. They can drink at the bar, they can get, you know, wet at the arch, but also walk down the aisle. They can dance on the dance floor, voila, well, like, yada, 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 you know. So it's all working for the purpose of having a wedding there and the celebration for the wedding. So um, yeah, you have that going on. Also, it's possible to have like multiple weddings because you can have that chapel thing, but you can also get wet just at the uh, wedding arches and there are several wedding arches <laughs> standing around also as a photo op, I thought, and one side. So I thought you could also move like from one yard to the church and then from the church into this big yard, have your celebration and the other ones go into the church and have their wedding at this moment and then go over to the lounge. So you have like multiple options to have your celebration. I just thought that makes more sense. And with the premise of like this being like a whole rent a monastery for the day thing, uh, you know, uh, it kind of made a little bit more sense. So yeah, uh, 
what can I say? Do I really like to build with these objects? I mean, there are some certain objects that I really like. Of course, for wedding venues, this is perfect, so I can head it easy, you know, with the furnishing. Um, I really like the flower arrangement, but then again, it's wedding. <laughs> Um, I have to see what else I will use like a lot from this or what I learned from the pack like what to do with these objects um, I was thinking I oh yeah maybe this is a good question for those who are interested I was thinking about doing like a circus kind of carnival thing and using lots of the rainbow swatches is it a little bit tasteless or can we just assume that it's you know rainbow colors and not pride or not because i thought like carnival fun you know with rainbow colors maybe that's like a fun thing to do and kind of see you can use these swatches in some way that it makes sense a circus i don't know yeah write me in the comments if you want to see this i was just thinking maybe that's how you would use them because i don't see anyone use them um and yeah this is the last house that i had there which is the honeymoon suite <laughs> i just thought sometimes when i play the game it's all very uh weird and the sims are tired and whatnot and uh yeah i thought a little honeymoon suite why not <laughs> So yeah, at night it looks really beautiful. I placed lanterns all over the place. They are very pretty. I really like the lanterns. These are lanterns that I will use a lot, definitely. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So here you can have a little look at the you know whole layout of everything. I want to if you want to rebuild this yourself. And here we go into the panning shots, so you can have a nice look at everything. Please keep in mind that I had to use this, you know, had to do this panning, these shots here while the game was halted. So nothing is moving, but also sadly because this is like a community lot, there are some certain sims just walking around there, frozen in time. It was very annoying. That has to do with the fact that I don't have the mods installed or not active at the moment that I use usually to get these shots done. And it looks a little bit wacky now that there are sometimes some goth looking sims walking around. But yeah, I hope you can still get everything and I hope that you really like it. Of course, I try to do my best with the space game and the pack, but I think it looks really, really nice. And it is as detailed as I could go and as I, I don't know, could endure wedding. <laughs> but yeah, I think this took me about seven or eight hours to build like fully from you know start to end if you would do it I did it over a couple of days I think two days or three days and yeah this is basically the whole thing I think it looks very dreamy to walk through these yards with all the arches with the flower arrangements in them I kind of I think it looks very dreamy it's a very nice lot especially there where i build it it's um it has a nice afternoon almost evening sun glow there that makes it look very romantic hence why i chose that hour to do the there there we have some he's walking away but he can't uh, anyways i think it looks <laughs> very beautiful just imagine your sim sitting there in their formal attire in their rainbow skirts <laughs> And having a good time and like the the couple having a slow dance there and you have the piano and someone singing and someone's playing the violin you know it could be really really romantic very nice kind of posh to be honest I think the next would be to try out a cool beach wedding and I'm also working on ideas for like a gothic wedding venue like for vampires or something but I still haven't come up with like an overall shape or stuff that I wanted to do so yeah that's probably something I'm still trying to figure out but yeah stay tuned as always write me in the comments what you want to see next um and I will consider and as always write a list and then sometimes I look at the list and think about it <laughs> but yeah um this is basically it guys i really really hope you like this one i think this looks really dream. look at the lounge the lounge looks really cool i think it could be a really cool wedding venue everything in white is matching though so i just i knew i had it easy with the swatches here because of 
course, there was everything in white. And then you walk down the aisle, everything is working. Could be a nice op also for photos and machinimas, in my opinion. So feel free to use this. I already uh, uploaded this to the gallery, by the way. Um, and once you have the pack, you can download this as always for free. I will put the download link in the video description down below. And there you can find it much more easily. My name is Simproved on the EA Gallery as well, on the Sims Gallery. And yeah, this is basically the whole thing, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And I hope this was inspiring for your gameplay, for your upcoming wedding venue builds. And uh, yeah, maybe you have seen some tricks or something. Feel free to steal away. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.